Gender roles and stereotyping based on video games. Video games have been playing a huge role in our society, especially as of the 2000s. But one topic that is predominantly making the communities more scarce and fearsome for other gender players or people with no gender at all is the way men and women are portrayed within the actual video games. As well as other genders are sexist to the other people on the internet. Um, and it can make them feel like people are being harmful or in, are trying to torment them. So, like, for example, like, women and men in a Call of Duty lobby or anything, like, the men will tend to be vulgar and kind of sexist and rude to the female. And it can get very just rude to the point where they just leave and they don't feel any any gain of playing the game. So... I wanted to talk about sexism first. So an example of a game that re highly relies on sexism is the Resident Evil 4 and 5 game. In these games, they made the male characters extremely masculine and aggressive towards everything in the game. It is a zombie game, so they do have to be aggressive. Whereas it is the complete opposite for females. The female, like the goal that they made for the in-game female was to make her look as sexual and like submissive as possible to like legitimately make her seem like a bubble brain like she doesn't know what's going on so in resident evil they portrayed the main female character ashley as like i said kind of a completely like lost like has no idea what's going on kind of leon's just like peace um you were able like from playing the game you were able to get like a revealing and tight outfit on ashley and by the end of the game she makes some references towards leon that are like oh now you have to go perform some overtime so this in turn like completely sexualizes the both of them like it kind of it brings it out into a point where, like, they are talking about something way further than the game. Like, they made her, like, wear these tight clothes, have this, like, persona that, like, makes her seem completely, completely over the top. So, it completely sexualized them, and this can make the game extremely uncomfortable. Like, for whoever is playing it, whether it's just a dad, a just kid, like, anyone, it can make it un uncomfortable, or it can make it just, like... For some people, good, but who knows? It relies on the person. So this can make it extremely difficult for some female audiences to get into some genres of games, like, as you would think. So realistically, since the beginning of the 2000s, there have been countless games that defy women, and a few being the God of War series completely, Grand Theft Auto, a newer one being, like, Genshin Impact. It has, like, all of the, like, anime women all just, like, affected differently. But, like, again, not as revealing as some. Assassin's Creed has some re revealing scenes where it makes these women, who I think are supposed to be kind of portrayed as prostitutes, um, go and talk to them. So it can be extremely, extremely, like, sexualized um so these outfits would be showing cleavage or you would be able to function the camera in a certain way kind of looking at what you're not supposed to see like it wasn't wasn't intended so in video games the female ideal for beauty is like an absolute mind-blowing standard the same exact thing with men like people have un unlike proportionate body image they have completely masculine bodies like extremely extremely over the top and anybody completely anybody can become idealistic over these fake bodies of course so this made me want to go into the research of like finding what women would tend to play so women would tend to play more games that were based on genres of like dancing so like just dance education games simulations or like social games just to like interact but not to the same extent as like toxic action social games whereas guys wanted to play more like strategic action-packed games or like role-playing games like world of warcraft for example um so overall like men are definitely more likely to play violent video games because it's it's just more attracted to their taste and genres um 
So overall, video games inside of the actual storyline are great. The storyline, normally on purpose, but the thing is, they use so many exploitive things in order to boost their game's hype for release. Or they use revealing more graphic body images of the characters to attract the people that it's enticing to. So, like, they kind of have a certain, a certain group that is attracted. And it becomes way more prevalent for... Um, Ozzy, stop. One thing I wanted to touch on at the end was talking about how prevalent it was for male gamers and female gamers to collide. I always find that male gamers tend to verbally, like, little most women or even, like, young people they play against because it seems to be part of the culture by just saying whatever comes to mind and roasting each other to the absolute brink, which I think is sad because I firmly believe that everyone, all genders or not gender exclusive, deserve to play any game that gives them a release from life. So because sometimes people just need to get away for a bit, and for a lot of people this tend to be a main source of relief, I think that games do need to die down a little bit on the gender sexualization and how they they make the stereotyping of all the genders because it can just give you these ideals that are just draining and just like you can't reach that same that same proportion